Hi, this is Tapcat, and welcome back to Battle Brothers. Now, I don't want to spoil any specifics, but if you've ever wondered just how many times someone can miss in combat without suffering a complete squad wipe, then you just might want to stick around. All right, as much as we have loved our stay in beautiful downtown Fuchsburg, I think we're ready to move off. Are these dire wolf tracks from like a, a quest we did last time? Isn't that funny? I can't even remember. Well, I think I'm going to leave it alone. So yeah, I recorded this like yesterday and of course I can't even remember <laughs> who we went after or what we did for them. Okay, so we're going to try and clear up some fog of war here. And I'm going to try not to uh, run into any brigands or troublemakers if I can help it. <gasps> Speaking of which, all right. So let's come into Tundra Hovel and see if they have any contracts for us. Well, they don't. So rather than camp, I think I'm just going to leave and bug out because basically I'd rather just get to the next town by morning if I can help it. Now, hopefully we won't. Okay, good. I was going to say, hopefully we won't run into any brigands. Uh, so let me pull back a little bit. Um, here's a town we have not been to. So let's go there. That is actually a pretty good reason to go, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, hopefully they'll have a contract. It'll be the one town on Earth. We are really just having a devil of a time finding contracts most of the time. And they do have one. So, what is it? Monsters. Okay, so my guess is 50 crowns plus 220. Can we get a little more? All right. I accept. Is there anything I can buy here that'll help me? Well, their prices are really expensive. Wow, they pay like crap for these pelts, I'll tell you that. Okay, well, I'm not going to buy anything here. Instead, I'll go and hunt some dire wolves, I guess. The beasts, they visited again last night. Okay. Well, I am sorry to hear that, but I am already doing what I can to fix it. Uh, and they're going into the forest. I would rather not fight them in the fold. Oh, there's two groups. <laughs> uh, I tell you what. We'll fight one of the groups. I don't really want to do both at the same time. And I just noticed the little gold thing here. So the other one must have just been a, a random thing. Swell. Is it nighttime? I didn't realize that. So that means he's going to be even, yeah, he's going to have a really hard time just hitting literally anything. Well, so be it. I mean, I would switch to the knife, but the problem is um, he would probably die. Let me do this. I want to see where these guys land, if you know what I'm saying. And not kind of wreck my formation. So for this guy, okay, that was a good start. We hurt his armor and we did very little damage to him. And I think I'm going to do this. And I don't think spear wall is going to be effective, but I'll try it. And then, yeah, if you would just pass. So him, I'm actually tempted to come back because I feel like 
These guys could try to come around. So I don't like this in a way, but uh, because I'm worried about kind of hanging him out to dry. Okay, we did a bunch of damage there. Now, this is my problem. I can't get him close enough. Okay, let me wait because he goes next and I'll move him here and I will attack to no effect whatsoever. And now, well, that's actually a problem. I don't know. I'm not going to do it. If I put him here, that wolf could have come right there and then savaged him. Now that they're engaged, I can move up and attack. And I know the guys with shields are going to absorb the worst of it. Now, I'm going to wait with him, but since his armor is gone, I'm almost certainly going to shield wall. In fact, I'm just going to do it now. Because there's no way. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to attack either. Because uh, I may need to use shield wall a couple more times. I can't burn all of his fatigue up like that. So it looks like 33% is basically, you know, as good as he's going to get. And unfortunately, this guy can't attack this turn. Now he will be able to. Okay. Come on, can we get the kill? Not with him. Godric, I expect better from you. Okay, Minolf, come on. Mine off. Okay, that's better. Hunk, hanky, hunky. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's pretty huge. I think I want to move up with him. That may take some of the pressure off of him a little bit. I'm not positive. Okay, now how do I get him in this fight? Come here. So that'll start hurting this guy's morale. Ah! Oh, see, even with shield wall. Even with shield wall. Damn you guys. Well, that's painful. Way to avenge our fallen comrade. Oh, you can't hit him? Wait, what's going on? Okay. Well, he can't, but just in a different way than what I originally meant. So I need to move him so he can miss from another vantage point. Wow. Okay. Come on. So we are at least starting to hit a little bit here. Come on, you can still kill him. Oh, God. Okay. You know, hopefully, if I could just get my melee skill up to about 180, I would be able to hit somewhat regularly. So I'm going to wait because there's a very good chance that I'm going to shield wall with him even though it didn't exactly help me last time. But it, honestly, it does improve your chances of survival. But as with anything where we're talking about chances, that does not mean it's guaranteed to work. Okay. But well, we only have one left. And he is badly hurt. I don't know if you can see, but this is where his health bar is. Oh. Okay, come on, hunky. No. Okay, how about you, Minolf? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, and Hartwig, oh, I see. He must have been struck down. I thought he was killed straight up. He has a missing nose. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's terrible. I'm going to say you wouldn't be like super popular. Uh, certainly not with the ladies, but I mean, he's a mercenary. Let's be honest. He's probably not 
a prize catch for uh, ladies, you know? And by lady, I mean like noble ladies. Hi, Future Tapcat here, and I just wanted to explain a little bit better what happened to Hartwig. So when one of your men falls during battle, he isn't necessarily killed. He can be what's called struck down, which I would take to mean essentially he's knocked unconscious. Now, when that happens, he will always come out of that experience with a new permanent injury. This will not heal ever. And as far as I know, at least, there's no way to, you know, change the effect. So Hartwig is going to have a 10% penalty against his fatigue stat forever from this point on. Now, that's not necessarily the penalty. It could have been anything. All right, back to the episode. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought it was morning. Sorry. Yeah, it's dawn. Okay. I think I was just a split second too fast. So there's no temple here or anything. I'm going to go ahead and sell these because this price is actually getting semi-reasonable. And we're really low on food, so I'll do that. Let's get rid of this crap. Okay. So, boy. Um, well, let's leave. By the way, there was no other contract, right? Yeah, no. It doesn't usually reset immediately, so it's not that I expected one exactly. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, I'm also just trying to make sure that there's no brigands or anything. I would prefer not to ride right into the middle of a big old group. That would be a little awkward. We could go to sand camp. They probably have a contract for us again. The Widowmakers, that's really cool. You know, let's see what they've got here. Let's talk pay, 540? Jeez, who do you want me to marry, kill, or you know, whatever. So follow tracks and return a ceremonial staff. Hmm. Should I hire another guy? I have some money. You know, I think I will. I've been feeling undermanned ever since we lost that one guy. I have no gear for him, though. What's he got? 55. Okay, so a two-hander is kind of a death sentence. <laughs> You'll be fine, kid. I mean, honestly, he is a little bit of a meat shield. I'm going to just uh, see how this goes. If I can buy... Nope, they don't have a good shield. I'm really tempted to do this just so we miss less. I just hate spending almost 200 gold that way. Let's not do it. So where am I going? Um, follow the tracks east of Sand Camp. Okay. Oh, I see him. So this is almost sure to be brigands. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, so we helped him get his stupid toy. And Niels feels good about that, which I'm glad. It speaks well of his character and all that. This is kind of nerve wracking, like following it step by step at night and the clouds are almost like fog. Ooh, seven. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like it. You know, it would actually be really good. No, it's too late now. I was going to say if we could run them into a garrison. I'm not sure we're, we can beat seven guys. At least they do not appear to have any archers. I have a little high ground. Poor Hartwig is still hurt. I don't know. Maybe we'll be okay. So this turn, I'm going to do nothing but wait. They cannot move forward far enough to hit us. So I'll take a shot with him. 
Let's think about this. Is any one of these guys more dangerous? Probably the dude with the two-hander. Hey, I, sh oh, I should have thought of this before. I can just wait. Let's let them move. Let all of them move. I don't think I'll be able to use him, but yeah, this will be interesting. I assume this guy will probably come here. No, sort of. Okay, you definitely aren't going to do anything. I don't really want to break my formation, so what I'll probably do is shield wall most of these guys. At least the ones that go after them. Okay. Oh, I missed. I actually had a really good chance too. It was 67%. Okay. I don't know if this is good or not. Yep. Just pass. So, do I want to step up or make them step up? The problem is if you step up, you get one attack. And if they step up, I get two, but I let them kick the crap out of me potentially. So that's kind of rough. But I think I'm going to wait with him. I think I'm going to let them step up. Yeah. I'm going to. And I'll use spear wall here. And then I'll wait because I'll probably be able to attack. And I'm thinking I don't want to move up with him. So we're just going to wait. We're going to let them commit. I'm going to trust that they don't do much damage with my shields. <sighs> okay, that worked really well. Well, I really wanted to kill this brigand, but... Okay, that's a good start. That was nice. Thank God he missed, because he would have killed him. And unfortunately, this guy does not even have shield wall as an option. So I need to hit this guy hard. 62%. Come on, man. You can do this, Robert. Or not. Okay, this guy. Yeah, so it does, neither of them have a shield. Boy, I don't like his position here. Okay, come on, mine off. <laughs> oh my god. It's just if you have a 54% chance, you'd figure, you know, maybe I get one of the two. All right, Honky, you have 73%. Let's do it again. Awesome. That guy was an extreme threat, so... Uh, and I'm going to move Will Reich back. He's injured and he's badly wounded. He's got pierced arm muscles, so he's going to have a really hard time hitting anybody. So, I think it just makes sense to kind of keep him back. And I hate to lose the high ground, but I'm not going to hit the guy if I stay where I'm at, so... Let's try and wreck his armor. Nope. That is unfortunate. So here's the question. Would I be better off to move him here and kind of tie these guys up where they're at? I don't think so. Um, I can't do spear wall. That's right. I already used it. If I move, nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to stay where I'm at. And then you come here and let's try and make a start. Oh my gosh, you guys. Gerhard, 63% miss. We just miss. Like, that seems to be our sole reason for being on this, this planet. This is uh, the beauty of Spearwall. I do really love it. Now, I'm not going to move him into actual melee, but what I'm going to try to do is keep him close enough that if I need to use him for knockback or something, he could do that. Maybe a killing blow, you know, in a future turn, something like that. 
But I would have to really want it because that's a risky thing to do. Okay. I think I'm going to try for him. Because this is the only guy I feel like we even have a chance at. And I want to get him safe if I can. Okay. Since this guy is apparently not going to move. I have no choice but to come up. Oh, doggone it. I really would have liked to kill there. And I don't think I'm going to have any good shot if I don't move him. So let's come here. 70% and Niels almost kills him. Story of my life. I don't know about yours. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. We wrecked his helmet. Come on, man. Okay. We wrecked his armor. Gerhard couldn't quite get through the shield. But this guy was ineffective as well. Come on, man. Okay. Robert. Not bad. Not bad. One more. Awesome. Okay. So the good news is I can bring him up to help. I don't, yeah, I can't attack this turn, but the tide is starting to turn. I'm going to hold him back. There's no way I'm attacking right now. Now, reload. Can you kill this guy? Yes. And notice their morale is dropping. When, those, when you see those little white flags, that's them dropping to a new category where their morale is getting worse and worse. So I'm going to come here. And I'll be able to attack either of them next turn. But let's see if we can do anything right now. Okay, good. He's got a split hand, I think. That's going to make it much harder for him to hit us. But you know what would make it even harder is if he was dead. So I will absolutely try to do that. I mean, we still have three of these guys left. This is no joke. All right, we're down to two. He's breaking, and he's still steady. This guy has a freaking will of iron, man. <laughs> I mean, I give him credit. He's no coward. And he is hurting Hartwig, too. In fact, I'm probably going to have to use um, Shield Wall next turn. Robert, how am I going to get you where you can do me any good at all? Let's just wait with him. You know, the scary thing is, I feel like this is the guy I should go after next. <laughs> Hold on. You know what I should have done is check my to hit. Yeah, I had a way better chance to hit this guy. So that's what I should have done. Okay, that's as close as you're getting. And unfortunately, yeah, that's as close as he's getting for now. Um, I think I'm going to just get him out of my way for a minute. Now, can you? Yes. 77% was good enough. Can I hit this guy from here? Not really. Let's come here. And unfortunately, that means no attack. But Godric has an attack. Not good enough, as it turned out. Let me come here. I mean, the more we surround this guy... Okay, he's fleeing now. So basically, I'm okay moving forward because he's done attacking. Now, at this point, it just comes down to trying to finish this. Because all he wants to do is get out of dodge. And I mean, I don't blame him. Nope. How about now? Okay. Well, that was close. We did get Honke uh, a promotion. You know what I should pay attention to? So who got the most experience? It was Niels. And Honke got next. What I wanted to see, there was one of our guys 
that's actually a pretty good upgrade for our, some of our guys. Uh, there was at least one of our guys that, um, oh, wait a second. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what if somebody paid good money to steal that artifact? So this guy is going to offer us 600 crowns. No. No, I took a contract. And if you want to be a mercenary, you need to honor contracts. I think that's pretty clear. And we're getting 540. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't have mattered. But it's for 60 extra crowns. No way. And I'm trying to build my reputation with these guys too, you know? Uh, this is the most money we've had in a while. And holy crap, do I need food. So this isn't a great price, but I just need to buy it. Uh, so what I was going to do though, is I wanted to see which guy was it we took. Yeah, it was Hartwig. So Hartwig is the one with student and bright. But he wasn't one of the top two experience point getters. But I think that is solely because he did not get a lot of kills. It's not some flaw in the system or anything like that. I just didn't get him, you know, enough action. So that's an important thing to remember, I guess. I mean, I don't know how much I can do about it. Okay, so I'm definitely taking melee defense. This is tough because you generally want... Uh, to just pump into melee, but plus one makes that kind of rough. I'll take the plus three to my fatigue, and then I'm thinking I'll just go ahead, because I would like everybody to have at least 60 plus health. And so, since my roll was so poor here, I'll do that. And for his perk... Yeah, I'll take student. Again, we want these guys to level up quickly. Now, we have some loot, so let's go ahead and, um, and spread it around. So, who has... His armor is really bad. So, let's go ahead, I think, and do this. Well, let's see. His um, defense is 21. His defense is only 15, and he has absolute trash. So there you go. I mean, we kind of hung him out to dry. We'll also give him this. So basically, we just increased his survivability like a hundredfold. Do I have a one-handed axe? I actually don't. All right. Uh, you know what I think I'll also do is I'll go ahead and equip a bandage here. Actually, I did not mean to do that. Hang on a second. Let me pull that and give it to him. We'll try to pick up a couple of bandages. All right. Um, I'm thinking that I would really like to know where my next contract is coming from. Let's come back up here really quickly. Wow, we gained a bunch of renown. Oh, because we um, got friendly with that one spot. So we're going to wrap this up here in just a minute. I literally would like to just find a town with a contract so that I don't have to start next installment looking for one. You know what else we could do? I kind of like this idea. They have a kennel in this town. No, but nobody here is uh, a hound master. All right. I was going to hire one if I could. Maybe they'll do. Now, I've never seen a hound master anywhere where there isn't a kennel. So there's no point. Let me just get rid of this because I don't think you ever get anything for tattered sackcloth. Okay, we'll go to one more town. And if there's nothing there, there's nothing there. I'm talking about for contracts. I'm not going to make this installment drag out forever, but I would just like to come back next time and kind of know what we're going to do. So hopefully we can make that happen. 
Um, we also have some money, so if I find good armor or something, I would consider buying an upgrade. Okay, no contract. Are you friggin' kidding me with this crap, you guys? Yeah, that's really, really upsetting. I mean, I don't feel like it's too much to ask to just find one measly little contract that we could do. <laughs> and I guess if this one doesn't have it, I'll just leave it alone. We do have one though. Okay, awesome. So let me do this before we go. I am going to buy more food because we're kind of crap. In fact, I'm even going to buy one more food. And that's it, because let's be honest, there's not a lot to buy here. I will buy a bandage, too. And then we'll just put it... Let's see, I gave him... Oh, brother, Godric has a level up, and I completely missed that. How many of you are were screaming at your screen the whole time? Well, let's do Crippling Strikes for him. Crippling Strikes or Student. I think I'll go Crippling Strikes. And then... For his actual skills, we definitely want to try to miss less. I will take this. Ugh, his resolve is terrible. Uh, but he has a pretty decent fatigue roll, so let's just do that. He needs fatigue most. We haven't really had a problem with resolve. And then maybe when we come back, um, we can get our guys healed up the rest of the way and take that contract. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.